everyone, I'm Drew, I'm that frog guy, and today we're coming at you with the October Reptile Room. Um, this is going to be kind of a run and gun video, my uh, computer is out for the count again, as you guys can see I'm looking, starting with the 40 gallon reef tank, which I've rescaped since probably the last time you guys looked at it. Um, we got two mountains with some coral in between. We got our uh, cool anemone crab out, and some of the corals are doing really well with this new layout. It was really covered in algae, but as you guys can see, after scrubbing every rock, the algae is still coming back. Um, so I might have to try something different. Um, the fish seem to like it more with the rock structure like this. They don't hide as much, which is kind of nice for me filming and videoing. See, so look at even he's coming out. Um, but we'll move over to the next tanks, which we have over here is a 10 gallon tank with a mud minnow. His name is E.T. and he's staring right at us. You can see his reflection in the glass, or maybe not. Oof, nope, he disappears in the reflection. Uh, E.T. is a mud minnow in a 10 gallon tank. This tank's been around for a while, he's just kind of chilling. Um, the next tanks down below are two beta tanks. We'll start over here. Um, this tank is a 5 gallon tank and that's a 5 gallon tank. They don't look very big on the camera. But here we have a really, really, really pretty beta if it will focus. Um, I haven't named this beta yet. Um, he's looking at me. Focus camera, focus. Focus. Ah, there he is. Um, I haven't named him yet. He's pretty pretty though. Um, then over here is Chromium. He's another beta, a dragon scale beta. It'll focus on him. <coughs> oh, sorry guys, I got a cough. It's been plaguing me for a week and a half. So uh, if you hear me coughing a little bit in the background, I'm sorry. But here we got Chromium. We'll do a top view since it's easier to see him. He's a dragon scale beta, and he's not camera ready right now, I guess. Um, down here we, oh, we'll get it off this weird focus thing it's doing. Um, down here we have a 10 gallon tank that is a shrimp tank, but it's glass is kind of dirty. I can't really see much going on. Um, there's a couple little minnows in here. I haven't seen them in a little while, but they're really tiny. Um, I was trying to get them to grow out a little bit so I could put them in a bigger tank, but I don't see them right now. Uh, we'll jump over to the two and a half gallon clownfish saltwater tank, and here we have the bubble tip anemone and some other corals and our little clown guy a little uh, half broken mark or whatever we want to call him he really likes hosting up in that corner <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys okay <coughs> I'm gonna try to make this quick it's really hard to film with coughing this much but here we have another 10 gallon tank it is filled with moss and shrimp a little cherry shrimps down in here. Speaking of cherry shrimps, this guy has a lot of them. Chromium's tank, filled to the brim. Hey, Chromium. Hey, Chromes. Chrome Dome. Chromium, come on. Say hello for the camera. Okay, we'll keep moving around the room since I can't stop coughing. Down here we have extra food for Pennywise, also known as Crawdads, um, who are just kind of chilling. There's one cherry shrimp in here. Don't know how he got in here. They think I got food. Um, we'll jump up to the next saltwater tank, um, which is Bandit's tank. Let's get this clamp laid on again. Um, nothing really going on in here. I moved that uh, shrimp over here because he's picking on the corals in the little two and a half gallon tank. There's Bandit and there's big old Mr. Krabs. Focus on Mr. Krabs. He, they're all in timeout. They're all horrible creatures. They all, I shouldn't say horrible. They're just a little mean to everything, so they're kind of in their timeout tank. Um, right now we've moved that light from the other sump over this one, which is kind of giving it a nice, good, darker, even tone. Okay, on to the more frog tanks. Over here we have the fire belly toads. There's one there. I don't know why it's acting so weird for the focus. There we go. Got it back on autofocus. His new phone is a little harder to film with. Let's block Tortellini's light here. So we got a couple fire bellies there. they kind of... Getting a little bigger, there's some in the water. Um, I saw one that was really, really fat, so I think we might have a little pregnant lady on her hands. There's one right there. Um, we'll jump behind us to Tortellini, who... You guys know Tortellini, but he's sleeping today. He hasn't got up yet. What are you doing? I see his head. He's stuck, buddy. Oh, you sleeping. You're sleeping. 
Oh my. Oh yeah. Oh, right in the light. Oh man. You sleeping all day. Sleeping all day, like me. That's Tortellini, as you guys can see, there's little crickets everywhere in his tank. Um, I've never been able to breed crickets until now, and they're breeding like crazy in this tank. Uh, or compound, or paddock, or box, whatever you want to call it. <coughs> oh man. I'm going to continue to go on before I lose, start losing my voice more. Um, in here we have uh, our pixie frog named uh, Gitrog Monster, who's chilling out in the 20 gallon tank. He likes his tank much better. He's much better at catching food in here, which is good. Um, down below him, we have a 10-gallon tank with uh, spring peepers. There's one there. Just kind of looking at us. Um, there's two of them in here, and I only ever see one at a time, though I know they're both in there because they're both different sizes. Oh, there's the other one. Yep, there's the, there they are, both on camera. Whoop, whoop. We'll head up to the next tank, which is... Our Santa Isabellas, and one just hopped away there. There should be four Santa Isabellas in here. Sometimes they hide by the water feature, which they're not. I saw one when I hopped and brought myself back up, but now they're all hiding. That's great. <sighs> Got a little tiki guy in here. Oh, just saw one move. There's one. There's one. They do exist. <laughs> they just don't like me. They chirp like crazy, though. Um, in here we have three Azurius frog or yeah Azurius Aratus Aratus I almost said it wrong three Aratus is in here and I have not seen them today I see one's nose I guess right there you can see them looking at us um they always hang underneath the log there which is really overgrown I just I literally just trimmed this last month and it's already completely overgrown again um and the LG from I need to do another deep clean on that one we got nothing in here and then in here we have a salamander or two. I've only seen one lately, and that was a while ago. Um, but I had thought they had disappeared and never to be seen again, and then they appeared again. So they are really good at burrowing and really good at hiding, and they could be anywhere in this tank. I don't know where they're at, though. Um, we'll move over to um, Scully, because she's out and about. Scully is a Rantiomea Intimidator Intermedius. And I hardly ever get a good shot of her. Sorry for the glass being so dirty. Um, I literally just cleaned this as well. They like to climb and drag all sorts of stuff on the glass. But yeah, that's nice. Finally got to see her out. Um, down here we have Babe, the blue Arad or Azurius. I said Aratus. <coughs> <coughs> I like him. Or her. Big brew frog. Just chilling. Toe twitching. I love the toe twitch too. Um, and here we have Molder, who I just saw. He went down in there somewhere. Maybe he'll come back out before the end of the video. Up here we have our tree frogs. We have our uh, what are they called? Gray tree frog. There should be two of them in here. There's one. Let's see if I could spot the other one. It's a little messed up. I need to do something with this tank as well. I just have not had the time. Oh. Down here we have our hexagon tank with uh, uh, Tadius and Tadalina or Swift Flip Flop. I never remember. They're both pretty close to the same size. They are right there for all of you guys. They're Tink Taurus Powder Blues. And uh, if the glass was clean, you guys could see them. Sorry about the glass. Oh, one of these days I'll have time. And then we got two toads in here. Um, I don't. We have one named Littlefoot and the other one I have not named. They've grown quite a bit since this, since the year that they've been in here. This will be the second winter. <coughs> <coughs> and here we have Casey somewhere. Oh, I just saw him move. You can see her butt there. His butt. You are so chubby. I need to cut you back a little bit. Super worms. Um, down here we have um, Medusa. Right? Yeah, Medusa. She is a western hognose snake. And she's got a cricket friend again. How the heck did you get a cricket friend? She's very personable. She's getting bigger though. Um, come on over. Come on. 
she's fun. Down here we have a really dirty, uh, uh, what do they call it, my little bog that I was making. I just poured into water in here because it was kind of, yep, yeah, spider, big old spider. Um, it was kind of getting really low, so I just filled it up, so that's why the water's kind of nasty. I moved a, um, kind of dying, uh, what do they call them? <coughs> oh. um, orchid in here. Um, the rest of these are ferns and, um, pitcher plants, which I don't see any of them have pitchers yet, but once they get pitchers, they'll start eating some of these. Fruit flies have escaped. Um, in here we have our resident turtle, and this is Bee, Beatrix Kiddo, and she's freaked out, but she likes hiding, and so I added all this moss. <laughs> uh, down here we have Elfie. He is a white, uh, not white, uh, albino ball python. See his butt's over there if it'll focus. Focus. There's the rest of his body, so yeah, he's just chilling. Nothing much happening there. We got Khaleesi here who's been showing her beard lately, getting all territorial for some reason. Oh, Khaleesi is a bearded dragon, for those of you who don't know. Her light bulb just went out, so I had to put a new one in there. Don't know if it's powerful enough. Let me feel the heat. It's not quite hot enough yet. She's liking it, though. And lastly but not least, we have Cersei up in here somewhere. There's some of her shed on a stick, so she must have just recently shed. She's in her box. Oh, I actually could see her size side right there. She's just chilling. Oop, there's even more of her shed. I didn't even notice that first. Got to clean that up here in a second. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> oh man. Oops, sorry, Khaleesi. I didn't mean to scare you. We're gonna keep working around. Here we have Freddy. You can see his butt there. That's Freddy. He's an African clawed frog. And then we got one new addition for the reptile room. If I can show you guys quickly. I'm going to do a whole video, I think, on him. This here, if you can see how skinny he is, this I am named Smiley. And I'll do a whole video on him, but long story short, he was emaciated when I found him and missing part of his face. So I've been feeding him with the syringe for the last two weeks. Um, I haven't really had time to document <coughs> any of it, but uh, at least he's living. Um, I haven't fed him yet today. Um, we'll move over to this tank. I haven't fed him yet today. I'm trying to space it out a little bit. I've been feeding him daily, and he's kind of getting a gut, but not really putting on weight. What are you doing? I need to go get my light. That's a hilarious picture. A light. My uh, filter. Do it from my angle. That is hilarious, Pennywise. He's like crawling up. Sorry, the glass is dirty on this one too. He's crawling up through those zoas. It's kind of chilling, like a villain. Um, Pennywise is a <coughs> <coughs> an anglerfish. Oh man. And uh, he's a wart skin anglerfish. He doesn't get much bigger than that, and he eats shrimp. Um, man. <coughs> okay, we got one last tank to look at in here. This is the 30 gallon planted tank. I've added some more plants to it. Um, it's full of just danios, neon tetras, some other stuff. And I got one last tank to show you guys. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, God. I'm really coughing. This here is the 20-gallon um, saltwater tank. Um, this is where I house all my ghost shrimp for Pennywise, as you guys can see. And you also can see that big old guy there. That's a pink or white shrimp, shore shrimp or something. He is massive. He is about four inches long. Maybe three inches long. He's like the ones you would eat at a store. Or get to buy at a store. <sighs> um, but that's all I got for you guys today. There's another one right there. 
All I got for you guys today, I'm coughing too much and <coughs> <coughs> the more I talk, the worse it gets. Ugh, there's another one back there. There's like four, four of these really big ones. Uh, so please like, subscribe, and uh, I hopefully will have another video this next weekend. I'm just a little worn out. Um, but I'll do one last shot of the reptile room. Oh yeah, I insulated the ceiling. Um, I'll do one last shot of the reptile room for you guys. And, uh, once we'll check in next week, maybe I'll have a video on that fro uh, that toad. Hopefully, if you guys see that and watched all the way to that point in this video, you can do a comment like, Oh, I saw him already, or something. <laughs> but I'll leave us with this scene. See you guys.